man sits alone in his rich apartment in New York City. He's morose, lost. His wife has left him. If you were a friend of his, you'd go and spend some time with him. Have a few drinks. Listen to some music. Try to cheer him up. Some of his friends did. It started a night of terror. Hello, creeps. This is T4Y, opening the doors of the Mystery Playhouse. Our story tonight is from the pen of the master mystery writer, William Irish. The author needs no introduction. All of you dyed-in-the-wool mystery fans are familiar with hard-writing, fast-moving William Irish tales. Our story begins in the lobby of a New York apartment building. Two men and a woman have just entered. They're raucous and cheerful. Obviously out for a night of fun. Hey, it's a nice apartment building, oh, huh? Well, the two must have a lot of cash to live in a place like this, huh, Jack? Oh, yeah, more than most, I guess. Here's the elevator, Vinny. Hey, self-service! Let me push the button. <laughs> <laughs> First floor, lady Simon, summer dresses, lingerie. I'll take lingerie. <laughs> oh, oh, Vinny. <laughs> Vinny, when you get there, take it easy, huh? Like I told you, this son is a nice guy. Well, what's he like, Jack, this joker we're doing a good turn for? Oh, he's a good-natured character. Right now, the big thing is his wife, Eleanor, leaving him. I haven't seen him smile since she pulled out on him. Ah. Uh, and Marty. Yeah? Look, remember, don't make any cracks about his wife, Eleanor. Uh, I'm going will you? I got you. Uh, I hope he's home. Oh, hello, Guy. Hello, Jack. Eleanor. Hiya, Guy. Meet Vinny Benson. Oh, it's dark in the hall. I, I thought you were my wife. Oh, that's okay. I hope we're not disturbing you, Guy. Oh, no, no, no. Come in, come in. Come in, please. All of you. Oh, okay. thanks. Go ahead, Penny. Hey, sure is a nice apartment. Shows good taste. Oh, sit down. I'll fix your drink. Oh, Guy, you don't have to. We only want... No, I'd like to, honestly. What'll it be? There's some whiskey I take and still have some of that good brandy that Eleanor likes so much. Well, what'll it be, Jim? Okay. Whiskey guy and plain one. I've always been kind of hot for brandy. Sure. Marty? Uh, well, I, I think I'll try the brandy, too, if you don't mind. Not at all. <laughs> God, we thought maybe you'd like to go out with us and hear some music later. Well, I, I don't know. I, I kind of figured I'd stay home tonight, Jack. Hey, you mind if I get something on the radio? Not at all. Go ahead. You're sure it's all right, guy. I mean, we're not disturbing you, are we? Sure, Jack. I, I'd tell you if it were. Well, come on, drink up. Hey, you don't want to stop, do you, Vinny? Oh, yeah. You're wearing me out. Oh, but it's fun. I'm just getting going. Hey, one of these days, your heart's going to stay the heck with all this and flag out on you. Well, that's what happens when I drink whiskey. I can't open. I get going and I can't stop. <laughs> hey, why don't you try a shot of this? It'll slow you down. Oh, well, what is it? Oh, never mind that. Just try it. It's uh, kind of liqueur. All right, now, just a minute. Maybe you better not, Marty. You've had enough. Go on, guy. Take it. You only live once. It just slow you down, that's all. Well, okay, if that's all it says. Hey, where, where'd Vinny go? I want to dance. Oh, look what I found. Well, 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 Vinny, well, what is it? Oh, well, look, it's a picture of Guy's wife. Hmm? Two guys with more than love, now and forever, Eleanor. Guy says I look like her. I don't think she's so hot myself. <laughs> what are you doing? Put that down. All right, don't get sore. I'll touch it again, please. Uh, look... Why don't we all make tracks downtown? Maybe we can still catch some music, well, huh? It's kind of late for that, ain't it? Hey, uh, I know where we can go, Jack. You mean West 62? Hmm. Will they let us in? Sure. They know me there. Come on, let's go, huh? Oh, Hey, 
Hey, it's kind of crowded tonight, ain't you, Al? Well, you won't be lonely. You're wearing a gun, hey, Al? Well, maybe if the cop was a little more friendly, I wouldn't have to. Oh, the latest model, too, a 32 caliber. Man, you're dead. <laughs> hey, look at that, Oh, come on, I don't bite. You mean you, guy? Uh-oh. Okay, sure. Don't go away, Jack. Many I will be Okay. Long. Marty. Eh? Look, don't get him any more to drink. I don't like the eh, way he... come on. Oh, the it. little fart. Oh, now, listen, kid. He's in bad shape. Oh, he's in bad shape. It's this funeral. I'm hungry. Well, the kitchen's out this way. Hey, Jack. Yeah? Why don't you get the drinks while I fix the meat, huh? No, uh, okay. Oh, Marty, where'd yeah. you go? I've been looking for you for hours. Oh, I've been making some sandwiches. Here, have No, oh, no. Go ahead. No, no, thanks, thanks. Oh. Why'd you go away and leave me so long? Hey, they're playing that song again. That's our song. It belongs to Eleanor and me. I, I told them what I'd do if they played it again. I told them not to play it again. Hey, boys, where's Jack? Right, Eleanor. Hello, what are you doing here? Eleanor? <laughs> what do you see, Marty? <laughs> hey, look, pal, don't you remember me? Eleanor, what are you doing in a place like this? Same thing as you are, handsome. And don't call me Eleanor. You've changed. You never used to be like this, Eleanor. Do, do you come here often? Oh, only when to go and get slow. Oh, here there's Jack. Hey, Jack, let's make like the South America. Eleanor, come back. Oh. Eleanor, come back here. Marty, Eleanor ran away from me. Why is she running away like that? So help me catch her, Marty. Hey, hey, come on, just let me finish making a sound. Oh, Marty, yeah. please. All right, okay, I'm done. Yeah. Maybe you better take this along. Sure, you mean business, you know? Oh. Oh, what is it? Just a kitchen knife. Sure, you're not kidding. Yeah. Yeah, okay, come on. You start looking. I'll be right with you. Hello, where'd you go? Please come back. Uh, excuse me, have, have you seen Eleanor? Hey, watch it, buddy. You're missing up trap. I'm uh, looking for Eleanor. My wife, she was here just in... Oh, there she is. Eleanor. Hi, Hans. Eleanor, they're playing our song. We've got to get away from here. We don't belong oh, here, Eleanor. Oh, but I'm Eleanor. right, kid. I said we're leaving. Oh, here's Jack. I want to dance with you. You're leaving with me. Hey, guys, guys, give me that knife. What's chicken, kids? Marty, guys, out of his head. Oh, come on, but Jack's good for a while. Oh, come on, Jack, let's dance. No, Eleanor, not to our song. Well, that's why I want to dance to No, you. you're not going to. Get your hands off me. Let's oh. go. Oh, you stabbed her. Oh, no. I, why'd you do it, Marty? Jack, help. Help. Blood. You stabbed her, guy. It's blood. She's not my wife. She's not Eleanor. A heart stop. Hey, Jack, help me get into a cuff. I, I didn't mean it. Let me out of here. Let Al, out. stop him. Stop him, Al. Come on, Marty. we got to get him. You get him. Al, Al, why didn't you stop him? Stop him? Hey, he snatched my gun out of my holster, and I'm supposed to stop him? Mister, I want to live a while yet. Well, I'd better get after him. I'd better get the police after him. <laughs> Do you have a telephone here? In the back. Hotel Commonwealth. Um, Mrs. Guy Turner, quickly, please. We have no one here by that name. Helen Eternal, I'm positive she's registered there. I'm sorry, we have no one here by that name. Oh, try it under Ellen Phillips, I'm sure she's there. Miss Phillips, room 304, I'll ring it for you. There doesn't seem to be any answer. Just keep ringing, she's got to be in. Yes, sir. Thank you, Eleanor, please. Please answer it, Eleanor. Eleanor, cop just came in the door. What should I do, Eleanor? You have to make me have to move it. He's coming up this way. I've never used a gun before. What should I do? He's just coming to get me. Putting his hand in his pocket. He's looking for a gun. No! Take it easy. Tell me your right now. Oh, he was reaching for his gun. But you 
only wanted to call his wife. His wife is sick. Oh, you will read now. Who is this, you please, son? She was only getting a nickel for the phone. I've got to get out of here. I've got to get out of here. The police. I must call the police. Hello. Operator. Operator. Please deposit five cents for the next five minutes. Your time is up. Look, lady, I'm from headquarters. Now, just give it to me slow and easy now. How was this guy dressed, lady? Well, was he blonde with a gray shirt? Yes. Yes, yes. And he was rumpled. Did he, did he have on a black tie? Yes. A black tie. Does that sound like the guy that was at the party with you? Yeah. That's him, all right. No, if only we could have hit him off. Too late now, brother. <laughs> Good night, Matt. I had a wonderful time. Call me when you get home and I'll let you know about tomorrow. Night. Eleanor. What? Hello, Guy. I'm not looking over here. What's the trouble, Guy? You look so sad. Nothing. Uh, I, I mean, I have to talk to you. I, I kept calling you. But... Of course, Guy. Come on up for a few minutes. No, I can't go next week. I'll not see Is there a back entry? Oh. Oh, it's, uh, it's like you need some black coffee again. Down this alley over here, there's a back entrance in the service elevator. Down here, guys. Come here. Is it getting inside? What are you afraid of this time, guys? I'm here. I won't be here. Someone will be following. Oh, she wouldn't even be following you. Besides, the alley's empty. No one needs it at this hour. Here. Take my hand. Guys. What are you doing with the gun? It's all right, guy. We're safe in here. You sure? I live here, guy. Well, let me look in the closet. Look under the bed, too. It'll help you any. Sit down, Guy. I've never seen you so upset. Relax for a minute. Where are you going? Just to put my coat away. Take it off in here. Of course, sir. Now, what is it? Anna, can I trust you not to give me away? Guy, after all these years... But I'll be at your mercy after I told you I'll be wide open. Then maybe you'd better not come. No, I've got to. All right. Tell me then, Guy. You can trust me. You know that. Eleanor, I, I, I killed a girl over in that place where I was. Are you sure, guys? I saw them pick her up. They said so. I saw the blood. I had the knife in my hands. I didn't mean to. Well, well, why didn't you say something? I, I guess I wasn't counting on anything like that. Pretty bad guy, but the only thing to do is to go back. You didn't know. You don't understand. There, there was a second one. God. A policeman in a candy store. He came in and I. I did that one on purpose. Guys, what's the trouble with it? It's not good for you, I don't think. If you don't think. They said, they, they said it was some kind of liquor. It, it slows everything down. Oh. Yeah. Guy, don't pace the floor like that. Sit down and rest. Who, who is the man in the cab with you? Okay. He'll be coming back. He'll be coming up here. No, no, he won't. Don't you want to lie down for a while, Guy? You seem tired. It, it'll help wear it off. What are you reaching for? What are you doing? I, I saw your hand go out. I just wanted a cigarette, Guy. Here they are, right down here. See them? You're standing near the door and you were a moment ago. Get all the way over here. I won't move, I promise. Don't, Guy. Don't look at me like that. You're afraid of me. 
You're afraid of me because... I don't have any choice the way you're acting. Please, stop. Lie down for a few minutes. Try closing your eyes for just a minute and rest them. Give me a chance. Give me a chance to go down to the lobby. I won't move. I'll sit beside you. Up. When you can hold my hand, I'll tie my wrist to yours. Who is it? I won't know, Guy, until I am. Don't touch it. Keep your hand still. I saw it move. Probably not. The man you saw bring me home, he knows I'm here. If I don't answer, Guy, he'll know something's wrong. It'll be worse than if I do. I won't say anything, Guy. I'll tell him I'm in bed. How else can you have to bother me? Keep it going. Get rid of me. Hello? Hello? Please, hello. What are you crying for? Please stop. Please, this is you, kid. Let's figure out something. Please don't look at me like that! I'm hungry. I can have some sandwiches sent up from the drugstore. They toast them. Put lots of mayonnaise on them. I'll call them. I haven't eaten for two days. And I haven't eaten since Tuesday, since before I went to that place. How do I know you won't give me away? You'll hear me. You'll be right here beside me while I call. What about when he comes up? I'll have him leave it at the door outside. On the floor. I won't let him in. I'm hungry. Don't hold a gun at my cheek like that. I can't talk. Drugstore, good evening. This is Miss Phillips. Will you send up two sandwiches, please? Double deckers, toasted with lots of mayonnaise and uh, and coffee in a container, just like the other night. Oh, what's the matter, Miss Phillips? Can't you get to sleep again? You want some of that sleeping stuff again? A lot, a lot of mayonnaise. Thank you. How do I know who you were talking to? But you heard me. How long will it take to get up here? About five minutes. I won't see. It, it doesn't show up in five minutes. I know you put something over on me. You can't spend your time any more. You said Tuesday was two nights ago. It's still only Tuesday night. You won't be able to tell God. He's been frightened. He just fought for sandwiches. Why are you looking so white and frightened? Let me call him back and tell him to hurry. Don't touch that phone. There's a fool who let you the first time. Look at the clock. It's 25 past four. What's the clock for heaven's sake, guy? Let me have a cigarette, please. Pass me one yourself if you won't let me. Sure. Hey. Light it yourself. I will. Your pacing doesn't help him. It's taking a long time. It's taking more than five minutes. That coffee maker may be out of order. They have gotten off at the wrong floor. Any little thing might. You didn't phone for room service. You have a police. They're probably on their way right here now. You heard me. I can't remember what I heard anymore. I can't think straight. You know, you're trying to take advantage of me. Yeah, you, you're just trying to kid me along. I, I know how they close in on someone they're after. They sneak up and surround the place first. I, that's what's taking them so long. It's over half hour already. Isn't it only four minutes? Look at the clock. You set it back when I wasn't looking. It was a long time ago you called down. Uh, I'll song. I have it here. Let me play it, please. Hey, you, you're just stalling. <laughs> You remember that first Christmas in New Hampshire, the tree we put up? Those long hikes we took in the snow? You remember how we left this record on for hours? It's only six minutes, guys. Guys, guy put the gun away. Don't look like that guy, it's our fault. Why did you have to give me away? I only wanted to hide out here until he forgot about me. Why'd you have to phone and tell him where they could find me? I, I didn't phone the police, guys. I only want to be left in peace. I only want to be married and left in peace. Let me marry Matt, please. Now, I'm sure you told him. <laughs> only six and a half minutes. Not where. <laughs> Still in the donut. I, I, I didn't mean it. Don't, don't die, please. I, I, I was mixed up. I, I thought... Eleanor. Eleanor. 
Well, how's that for quick service, Mr. Phillips? Mayonnaise and all. Oh. oh. Get in here. Get in all the way. What? Sure. Yeah, I know a gun when I see one. Hey, I'm in. Where to? I don't know. I don't know. That closet over there. Okay, okay, I'm going. Just quit shaking like that. You set that gun off by mistake. Who is it? You always open the door? No. Oh, open the door. This is the police. Police? They're after me. And follow Wipe up. Yo, back entrance. Not here. There is just the window. Good. It's only 14 stories of the street. You're lying. So I'm lying. Get out of the way. Your funeral, mister. <laughs> This is a ledge. Sure, you got a good six inches. Maybe six and a half. Hey, Thomas, come back! Don't come near me! You're crazy! Honey, you'll be killed if you go out there. I'm going! You ain't kidding. Don't be a fool, Turner! The way he is, he'll never keep us balanced. Turner! Now look, I have no gun. Come back in and we'll talk it over. We'll make a deal. Leave me alone! Okay, Turner, I'm coming out after you. What are you trying to be, a sucker or a hero? Come on, Turner, the party's over. It's your life. Now, give me a hand. I'll help you back in. Don't come any closer. Now, look. Be sensible, will you? Fourteen stories down. Now, let's get in off this ledge before we both fall. Right here. Give me a hand. I'm telling you, don't touch me. Let go. Turner, you fool. Don't fight me. You'll knock us both off. Let go. Turner, stop it. Turner, let go. Ah! Oh, Mamie. Hello. How are you, dearie? Oh, I was out in the party with Jack and Marty. Yeah. And then Marty and I pull a swell joke and a guy. <laughs> Laugh, I thought I'd die. Well, this guy, Turner, was high as a kite, see? And Marty gave him a knife, and this Turner makes a grab at me. So I make like I'm stabbed and freeze ketchup between my fingers. Oh, he was so scared, he just ran right out. Sure. Sure, the next time I see him, I'm going to tell him about the ketchup. <laughs> Boy, I'll bet he'll laugh his head off. <laughs> that was one of the new William Irish stories. Heard on your mystery playhouse. One of the best mysteries T4 Wise heard in many a moon. Now we have some news for you. First, we've gotten a wire from Peter Laurie, mine host. He broke the lease on the cage he was living in and expects to be back within the next two weeks. Secondly, we've lined up a few friends for you. Philo Vance is going to drop in, and Ellery Queen is coming back. The rest of the creeps will remain the same. Now, it's getting early again. It's T4Y closing the doors of the Mystery Playhouse and saying goodnight. Sleep tight. This is the Armed Forces Radio Service.